With the odds not being in the favor of the New Mutants whatsoever, it is somehow still managing to come out this year. How? Well, let's talk about that right now. Hello everybody and welcome back to another movie news video. My name is Joker and today we're discussing The New Mutants, the one last movie that Fox had that apparently is still coming out. So with the Disney buyout of 20th Century Fox, it did look at the time like Dark Phoenix and The New Mutants were going to be the last two X-Men films of the franchise. And with the X-Men franchise itself just putting out a lot of disappointing films, I'm amazed it went as far as it did. Sure, the new younger cast had a good variety of films here and there, but the original X-Men franchise really kind of fell downhill when X3 came out. Yes, Logan was a monumental film and had fantastic moments and a great ending, but it just kept going and to no end, it just started to make no sense. Now don't Take this as me bashing the films in any way shape or form i literally own all of them on blu-ray for some reason i'm not sure why but i guess in some way i do enjoy the stories but you cannot deny that these movies are just not good but after the disappointing release of dark phoenix earlier last year it made me wonder if the new mutants is it all supposed to be coming out after all the first trailer for new mutants came out october 13th 2017 with the initial release date being April 13th of 2018, and as you can tell now, it's 2020 and still that movie has not come out. And with Dark Phoenix really seeming like the nail in the coffin for the X-Men franchise after the Disney buyout, it really surprises me that this movie is still happening at all. And that's for a lot of reasons, mainly being the Disney buyout. The Disney has an established Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yes, there's still some things like Deadpool that exist outside of it, but it's already been confirmed that Deadpool 3 is being created and it is going to tie into the MCU somehow. So it's very possible they were going to try to do the same thing with X-Men, but after they bought Fox, they said they're going to reboot the franchise in a few years from now. Brand new cast for all of the mutants we already know, so who knows exactly how this movie was supposed to fit in at all. The biggest thing that the film had going against it to begin with was the time crunch before the Disney buyout even ever happened. It dealt with a lot of reshoots that set the movie back literally two years, and it's kind of scary when you look at it that way because, yes, every movie goes through reshoots. Every time, for some reason, every time a fan base sees that a movie is going through reshoots, they think that means the movie's bad and it's the end of the world. No. Every single movie goes through reshoots, but it also does depend on the movie depending on how many reshoots they're doing. In this case, Dark Phoenix and New Mutants both went through extensive, drastic reshoots for a lot of scenes, and in some cases, New Mutants went through an entire rewrite of the second act of the movie. So with everything going against the movie, why do you still want to put it out? What is going on in this movie that Disney thinks we can still put it out in theaters and it's going to be great? Well, with the news from the director that the new trailer for New Mutants is coming out this Monday, January 6th, and the movie movie is apparently scheduled for April 3rd, 2020. So the movie is coming out this year. Supposedly, it could apparently get extensive reshoots again and be sent off and we never see it again. But what is going on with this movie and why is it still being made? I have zero ideas. The biggest idea I have now is the fact that Disney is still releasing movies under the Fox name. And while, yeah, they own the company so they can do that, I'm pretty sure there was probably something in the document they signed when they signed when they did the merger and bought the company that some of the films that were already in production were still going to be released no matter what due to, I don't know, whatever they signed and whatever contract they made. That's a possibility. Either that or they truly see potential in New Mutants and think it will do well. That last one feels like a stretch, but it is a possibility. Maybe they did find something new in doing research it turned it into a better movie than they could have hoped for and they're at least like let's put this out let's get it in theaters and make some of the money back from marketing and possible production fees but with all of this around it leaves us with a couple of questions as far as is this mcu canon this will be the first ever x-men franchise movie released by disney but it's still under the original in association with Marvel name. It's not necessarily tied to the MCU at all. So is it going to be tied in like everything else? Definitely not. I don't think it has a place for this at all, but you never know. Another one of the issues you could talk about is their casting issues, because right now they had a great cast to begin with, but the cast for the most part was really young at the start of filming, and now coming into 2020 with ex all these extensive reshoots, there's going to be drastic differences in the ages of some of these actors and actresses they had to play the new mutant teenagers. Don't know exactly how that's going to play out or if they're going to do anything else to that. And there was also talk of them adding a new cast member to the movie halfway through shooting. So who knows what it's going to look like as far as the cast appearance on screen. You can go back to that idea. Is it worth releasing at all? And I'm going to say apparently so because Disney thinks it's Apparently there's a reason for them to want to release it in theaters, if at all, and even to streaming services, if they're going to plan for that at all. Will it be going to Disney Plus or are they going to stick the Fox route and release it on Hulu? I don't know. I think the biggest question for this is, is this going to be the same movie? When we go back and look at the original trailer from 2017, it told us a very dark, gritty story of teenage mutants that are being experimented on in really crazy ways in this darkened, looks like an abandoned hospital, asylum, you name it, but it's all based out of the story from the comic of the same 
same name, The New Mutants. But now with all of these years of extensive reshoots, and now that the movie is being pushed back from 2017 all the way to 2020, is it going to be the same movie? Probably not. They might try to keep the same vibe they had originally, but through all of the extensive reshoots, I will be very surprised if we see one shot from the f any part of this movie that makes it into the final cut that we see in April. Now, whether or not this movie's gonna do good in theaters or not, I don't think it will. It could possibly have a weird buzz around it and people go to see this anyway just because there's a lot of talk about how bad it could possibly be since it has gone through so many different reshoots and it's been going through absolute hell trying to get this movie off the ground and into theaters. There could be kind of a smaller cult following behind it that wants to go see it in theaters once it's finally made. I personally want to see it just to see what happens. Uh, Splash, you've met him, my co-host, has talked several times about wanting to see it from the original movie. The first trailer gave us a good, gritty, scary story of the New Mutants. We thought that's what this was going to be. And after all the reshoots, he's curious to see if it's going to be the same story and what's happening with it. Is it going to be good? Probably not. But it, he's kind of curious to see what they did differently with the story with all the reshoots and if it still looks the same as the original trailer we got in 2017. I think that's a fair assessment to think what is the movie going to look like, that part I'm curious about. And I will see See more of that when the trailer drops on Monday, which I will be doing a reaction to. But until that trailer comes out and I get any more news to tell you guys, because honestly, I know barely anything about this movie. I don't have all the facts. If there's more to this that I'm missing and you know about, let me know in the comments down below. I definitely want to talk about it. But until any discussion sparks up and until that trailer drops on Monday, that is going to be it for this video, guys. Remember, if you like what you saw, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more movie news videos or if you'd like to see anything else. But until then, and as always, I will see you guys next time.